the Maranatha Christian Church is present in all the continents of the world. The church is in the, in the three Americas, Asia and the Oceanic continent. They are united by the, the live world. Brethren from all the parts of the world participate in, a, in the same service, in the same body, and in the same spirit through the, the transmission plat platform. Everyone lives in unity, just like the Hebrews did when they left Egypt, and the disciples with Jesus before he died on the cross. People from all parts of the world have been reached through the eternal word and the message of the soon coming of the Lord. Brethren, peace of the Lord. We are starting this transmission of the Sun Biblical School here from our transmission location in Espírito Santo. And today we have people that we invited from the New America Polo, that, and they are here participating with us in the Biblical School. We say also that our brother Ayesikeira that is here with us today making us very happy with his participation and bringing his testimony from how the work is coming to other countries we want to talk about some other some things about the work and, and the and in other countries uh, I want to say the youth in Framingham and Watertown and in the United States and also in, in Marlboro there was a seminar for the women there in Massachusetts in the US also in Brazil there was the starting of Uh, for sign language. There was also a, a Lord's Supper. There was also a vigil. And also in Maceió and Alagoas. And also there was, there was a new church in Itacaraguaçu, Espírito Santo, a new church. There was also a, a birthday service in Suzinho, in Bahia. And also there was evangelizations in Cariacica. <coughs> also the brethren had the people that were there. They invited the people who were there at the event of trumpets and feasts. And there was many visitors of those that participated on that day on the 24th of November. They were back again uh, at this service. And then in Campina Grande in Palmeira, they had an uh, they had an evangelization service, and also in a school, in a military school in Bonfim in Roraima. That's 
There was also an evangelizer service in Paulo Afonso, in Bahia, and also in Guarani, in Uberlândia, Minas Gerais. And then Bahia, in, in Paraíba, there was another evangelization through the streets. There was an evangelization in São Sebastião de, bon, de Boa Vista, no Pará. There was a visit there from a new church in that, in that place. And in Resende, in Rio de Janeiro, there was an evangeliza evangelization with the youth. And in Nga, in Paraíba, there was an evangelization. And around the church of Marabaya in Belém do Pará, there was also an evangelization. And also in Vitória da Conquista, in, in Bahia, there was another service with many visitors. There was baptisms in the Feira de Santana, Bahia. And we also want to talk about to an assistance. We want to, want to inform the position of the presbytery of the Maranatha Christian Church to the assistance of the people who are victims of the of the heavy rain and flooding in Espírito Santo and Minas Gerais. The church is sensitive with this thing and so the Manangas of Cariacica and Carapina they have been made points of donations for our brethren that were affected by this rain. And there was also furniture for for about 80 families of Maranatha Christian Church and then some of the neighbors as well. And we are here informing the brethren that the presbytery was sensitive and knowing and was able to send these donations and contributions. Let's start now our biblical school, Pastor Gilson. Very good, brother. And we are going to continue our what we were talking about in the biblical school. And before, we would like to inform that now the children, intermediates, and adolescents may go over to their classes and have their study with their teachers. We even suggest that in, in reason to not have a prayer of the for the children, we ask that a deacon may go there to the class and pray for the children. And so, from our part, we we are going to talk. The, we are going to transmit for 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 limited churches, and there being the first Sunday of the month. But even though the pastors were were talked about. A theme that we're that was going to be said in this biblical school of songs of Solomon. And so the questions will be the questions will be talked about today in songs of Solomon. And then we were going to give the word to Pastor Jedochi to talk about this what we what we were going to be teaching today. Brethren, the, what we're going to talk about today goes a little bit away from the sequence that we have been talking about and have been bring brought in an organized form in virtue that we are not talking about all the churches like it is like we usually do because the first Sunday of the month it is a day in which the pastor can decide if he wants to give a special word to the church in a special moment in a work that is maybe it be baptisms or Lord's Supper that is the responsibility of the pastor and so we have been solicit that this this biblical school that the that it can be can be ideal to stay the same and so it goes away fr from it today from the the, the prophetic sequence and so what 
we talk about even the brother we said that what we will be talking about would be the resurrection the the rapture and resurrection and so we indicated this this text for the word in the in the book of song of solomon in chapter 6 verse 7 And then there will be an introduction and we will say this. What we are worried about is how the rapture of the church will be. How the rapture will, will happen in the personal aspect. This rapture, the, the, the aspect, the personal aspect, and what it means for each and every one of us, so that we can understand, in fact, that what will be the rapture. And so, the form and the and the ways of how the Lord in all throughout history that has been registered in the Bible and how he presents the rapture and so and the Bible says Enoch it says that he was he was transcended so that he would not see death and that was a special aspect in the Old Testament before Moses before others, before Elijah, before other prophets that, that are part of another something different. And they, and then with relation of Moses and that he was raptured. And also in the vision of those servants of God in, in which they had a vision and they saw Elijah and, and Moses in eternity. The fact is, the, the only fact of people, of names, of men, that they lived here and, and, and truly they were presented as alive in eternity. And then there are, there are other prophets and then the different things happen. So listen, brother, there are no coincidences. There are no isolated facts. Every single one of them have a sequence, a prophetic sequence that are very valuable when we begin to penetrate and understand what is good for our life. And so it is not in our interest, in our interest to bring to the brethren today uh, a word that the, that the people should be worried oh am i gonna go or why am i not gonna go am i gonna go or am i not gonna go or why am i not gonna go or why we just want to give to the brethren the understanding of this rapture and so the 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 change of, of body the the transformation it can be said this in another in another way and talking about the material body and the spiritual, but in our in our case here is to understand that is not the meat and not the blood that will not go into heaven. The first Paul said that in the New Testament 
that everyone is going to everybody's going to go through through death but then in the new testament they all go through death because that is the figure of Jesus they go through death going through that man that comes to this life it only goes to another life if it, if he dies and so even in the rapture it doesn't mean that you're going to be raptured before before your death it is immediately, immediately in case of the rapture. So we're going to show in the in the book of Solomon, and the brethren are are going to be with us and in, in our understanding, and so that we may be may see the the prophecy of the Church of the Old Testament and more information, more curious information, in a certain way that you're going to see in in Thessalonians in Corinthians you're gonna encounter with different forms of the rapture of the church we're gonna leave this to the side we're gonna go through the song the the book of Solomon the book song of song of Solomon with with happiness that we can talk about something that is so interesting for us and that there are curiosities that are noticeable that are spiritually profound for our soul so you're gonna be here and understand this so first the moment that we are living what is the moment that we are living we are we are living the moment of pre-tribulation and we know perfectly that we are living this time that it is preparing the church for the rapture the world the world is living this time the the time called of, of pre-tribulation it's the beginning of of the hurting so the the beginning of the hurting we are living the world that the the world is also living the facts the things that are happening in all the world it being bad or good is for is for the world and we are in the world as servants of God and as I said servants of God and we are living this this what is pre-hurting pre-tribulation I've already have already gone through the first three trumpets that is a, that is occur from from man itself man is responsible for these and we are the ones that are also have to take our own caution and because the hurting the hurting will come but the church will not go through the hurting we are gonna go through the pre-hurting and because in what way will it survive baptizing by the holy spirit the blessing of the holy spirit being upon us with spiritual gifts with the life of communion with those with he who is coming to to get us and so this this pre-hurting it brings us to the feet of the lord so that we may be, be trusting him and only him for our for our depa departure and we are not even making making pre previews and thinking about when things are going to happen because we're not, not not good at that and so the and it is God's time and he has his time and it, and the Lord's time is Kairos and Kronos is our time but in any other form we are awaiting at this time more than ever because all the facts the historical facts the prophetic facts are fulfilling they are and the world they need to understand that that what they understand and what they haven't understood yet that there is a limit of our life which is death it will come and no one is going to be worried with death because it is the worst thing that is going to happen but they will go through it we all will I say this I don't like it because no one no one no one wants to die or see other people die to never come back but man has to understand that 
his period, his time is running out because death is awaiting for him. It is awaiting for his life. His life is, is just awaiting death. And the day comes, your opportunity will be over. The rapture will be just like this. It will put an end to a story of the church, of a period in which the Holy Spirit was at your disposal. And those that have used, have made value of this blessing of the Holy Spirit, those that have made value to it, should continue to do, to do this more and more because the church will 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 be raptured and now i'm going to pass the word to, to pastor Jusso and we're going to see if we can we're gonna make some questions and see if we can have some responses and continue and we want the brethren to to search for the for the verses that will be talked about the it is an it is an amazing the the lesson we are having is going to be amazing it will serve for the faithful that are living in this time and so here's pastor Jason. brethren we are going to go now to our first question we're going to put it here and so that the brethren can can talk about so the first question is reading the text of song of solomon chapter 6 verse 10 identify the figure of the church so the, the question is in chapter 6 verse 10 of song of solomon identify the figure of the church so you're going to go look there and discover in verse 10 chapter 6 and identify the aspects of the figure of the church where is the church in this verse So we're going to put the text here. So here is, it is here and it is being projected and it talks about the characteristics and the figure of the church identified in this, in this verse. We also ha are going to have some collaborations of the pastors that are here participating with us to make everyone's lives easier. So the aspects of the church, the characteristics. Who is she who looks forth as, as the morning? Fair, it is. It is refer. It is referring to the church. Fair. It is fair. Here is is. It is perfect. It talks about the body. Clear as the sun, it's the light, it's the revel revelation. This all identifies, identifies the, the faithful church. Awesome as an army with banners. And because the church at this time, it goes through its battles. And not only in its discipline, but also in the governing of the Lord. And that is the aspect that I see there in the beginning. Just like Pastor Amadeo said, who is, who is she who looks forth as the morning? The church is going to rise after the, the rapture. It is going to be seen her who was through the night and the moon and where the where the moon is up in the middle before the sun comes up as well and that is where the churches be so the church is a new day it, it it builds a new day in history of christians in the world and it is something that will be changed in the history of the world so who looks forth as the morning, fair as the moon. She is in its place. It reflects the light of the sun, 
the justice sun, it reflects the revelation. What is what Pastor Amadeus said? It reflects the revelation that comes from the Lord. The light that the light that is bright, awesome as an army with banners. And what does the church represent to the world in this rapture? It is raptured. It looks like an army. In or it looks like an organization that has its battles, like the pastor said. But the banners that it brings are the banners of the victory. And what are the victories? Victories against the meat. Victories against bad things. Victories against everything. It is the victorious church. How many persecutions have the church? And but the church has has won all their battles. So it is formidable. Fair, fair as the moon. It is defined as the church. It is not a political. It's not a religious. It is an institution of faith, in which the Holy Spirit is doing all things to to generate and give form and beauty to this church inside the aspects that are mentioned here which are the elements of the great creation the sun the moon and everything else that it represents the banners talks about its great victories and so that is that's what we are showing here and if the brethren have other things they want to say there is a lot of things that can be said amen brother the last thing we want to say uh, with this response, we will give at the end of this biblical school as a suggestion of the message for tonight. Amen. So let's go to the second question. Reading the text of Song of Solomon, chapter 6, but now verse 12, identify of what form uh, a servant will be, will be raptured. Reading the text of Song of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 12, identify in what form the servant will be, will be raptured. Let's put here one more word so that we can make it easier. We're missing a word here, rapture. So, chapter 6, verse 12, and identify the form in which a servant will be raptured. Chapter 6, verse 12. Let's examine the text before I was even aware my soul had made me as the chariots of my noble people. So let's identify the form in which a Christian will be raptured, a servant will be raptured. So we have here the pastors who can help the brethren of the church. Who will say something? <coughs> Ready? Response? Antes Before? Eu senti, por, me pus, I was even aware. My soul had celeste. made me as the chariots of my noble Nossa people. And our contribution é que o chama is that the Lord calls us excelente. noble. Uh, chariots it is the position of the work that will be raptured my soul the church will be raptured my soul she has a place she has she has an owner and this time that we are living we understand that the Lord he wants that we can be awakening to the rapture of this noble people. God has us as noble because we have an inheritance that He has for us in eternity. And these people are the people that today they are trying to find a definition of what the Holy Spirit has said to the church. Is there another detail that someone wants to talk about? related exactly to the form of how 
the church will be raptured. Stay here. Before, before I was even aware, I'm saying here personally, if, with eternity, the people that will be raptured, people from China, Japan, how was it? Before, before I was even aware, it was not, no one pushed me, I didn't get in line, it was a surprise, I was, I was in the street and out of nowhere I was, I was piloting the plane and out of nowhere I was, you know, raptured. And so before I was even aware, before I was even aware of my soul, he said the soul because the soul is the project of resurrection, the death and resurrection. It is a fact that you see right away. And so you see that here. As the chariots of my noble people, my noble people, the church is excellent. The vehicle, there are, there are many ways that you have, the, the ways of grace that you have, are the conditions that we have for this moment of the rapture. Amen? Let's go now to our third question. And the third question is, reading the test of Song of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 13, Identify the form the world will react to the rapture. So now differently, on chapter 6, verse 13, identify in which way the world will react to the rapture of the church. This one is easy. This is easy. And who's going to say, say, come back? So all the people that didn't go, and the main people that are going to say return, return, is the unfaithful church. And who is the Shulamite? So return, return will be, it's going to be, it's, it's something that is, that someone is saying when they are afflicted the unfaithful church calling for the church to come back. Return, return, O Shulamite. Return, return. And then again it says, Return, return, that we may look upon you. So it is the desire of those that stayed and from Gentiles and also the people of Israel are that the people be here in this, in this world because it is glorious. It is a noble people that have raptured and are now in glory with the Lord. Very well. The, the answer on verse 13. So return, return, which is the desire for being Gentiles or Israel and talking, talking about come back because they're going to miss the church because they're going to miss those things that represented the church before it is raptured the church as the light of the world, they are going to miss this. Let's see here. The world, it lost the church. Very well. Party, parties may happen because it will be, the, an, the Antichrist will be answering and it will be coming with all the arguments that the world has to live here. And uh, the reasoning that the world has here are completely the opposite from what God has. Those things that you considered right will lose value because today what is really talked about is what is wrong. People unite themselves to determine that the others will be wrong wrong with them. That is a big phenomenon, a world phenomenon here in Brazil. We are Brazilians that are bad. It is a, it's not just Brazil that are bad, it's a world phenomenon. 
So you have to, the, they're being prepared for the government that will be just like how they, how they think. So what is your sin? Okay, my sin is right there. So now your sin is organized and it'll have a place. That's it. It's against God. It is against the law. It doesn't matter. It can be against whatever he wants because the, the government without the Holy Spirit will be this. But the big problem is not there. The big problem is going to be at the church that is going to stay because it will have no, no path because the church left and you are here. So what, do you, so what do you want? You're going to have the text in, in Song of Solomon. My, my beautiful, who am I going to encounter? I'm going to get my glasses real quick. Because of the light. It's not to look, not to look good. It's just the light. So listen, the faithful church, it is a, it is a church that is on the side. And they don't want to go. I think that the the work is is marvelous. There are people that sing. There's people that even that put feathers in front of our pulpit to to exhibit themselves. We have to understand that the the people of the last of the last time they're gonna stay. They're here in our midst. They're not gonna be thinking about the people on the outside. They're here in our midst. So when the Holy Spirit and the church is raptured, that's gonna be the first loss. Everything is gonna be on fire. Everything doesn't know where the children go. Those things that we don't we don't really need to make people scared because this doesn't change anything. In midst that man can understand that that the enemy our lives you're 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 not gonna die and you're gonna be just like God, which is what he said in, back in Genesis. But let's understand now. They're gonna stay. And what's gonna happen? And they're gonna miss the church. Wow, miss the church. And and whose fault is that? And we can preach. You can preach you can preach the Bible, but it's gonna be zero. It's gonna be the letter. There's not gonna be no Holy Spirit. If if you're empty, it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be released empty. What you say is gonna be empty. So the book Song of Solomon It is it is I I, I know this when he talks in my heart I moved. I remember the first day that I accepted the Lord, I went to church and I felt his presence. In chapter 6, in Song of Solomon, we're not going to talk about everything because it is a lot. The world, it is going to look to to resolve their own problems, which is natural for us too, but the problem is of those who stay and they know that they weren't supposed to stay. They were not invited to stay, they were invited to leave. They were invited for the, for the, for the feast, but you can make the excuses. The world is, is ready for all the excuses for when the church is raptures, they have all the excuses. And they can talk about the electromagneticism of the, of the people and they took away all the bad people and only the good people stayed. The world, it will be, it will be, it will, they will confirm themselves. You know who's not gonna, who's not gonna be able to live with it? It is the people who knew what was happening and were, and stayed. Your, your neighbor, you remember those people? You remember those, remember those people that went to your church? Remember those people that did early down for you? You remember those people that came to your house and prayed for you? Do you remember? Do you remember the people that in your affliction were there helping you? And so this is the feeling. Let's see, brother. These are not appeals that we are making here to let people be scared. And if it is in your head, the Holy Spirit is not being able to change your, your head. Uh, I don't know, I'm a pastor. No, you're not a pastor. You have a ministry. 
the condition of your ministry, it doesn't matter if you change. You are responsible. The deacons here are responsible. Those that go there and turn off the, the satellite, like they're in Goyas, because he is a deacon. We have a responsibility as a people. And we are going to continue. We're going to talk about the excellent people. The people that are excellent. Our people are noble people. And these are the noble people that are going to go. And those who stay are going to are gonna think, oh, let's, let's unite, let's, let's, let's pray to the Holy Spirit. But he's gone. Return. Return, O. Oh, return, O. Oh, o. Oh, Sulamite. The church that is there. And close to Jerusalem. The church that is there in the in the in the prosperous villa, in the, in the valley of Jezreel, the church will be victorious very well. The church, the church in Israel, will be two, two armies, and well, they will be as one. So now, we're going to go to our fourth question. We still have another five minutes. So are you gonna pass now to our fourth question in chapter in the ver, in, ver, in chapter seven, verse nine. So reading the text of Song of Solomon, chapter seven, verse nine. Identify how it is how. Define how. Identify how the resurrection is defined. So you're gonna go now to chapter seven, verse nine. So let's read the text and identify how the resurrection is defined. So how does this text define what is the resurrection? Amen. So and the roof of and the roof of your mouth like the best wine. So how is the resurrection? How does it how how does it happen? Like the best one. In the first parable, the first uh the first miracle of Jesus of Jesus, have you where they they left for for the end of the the feast the best the best wine the, and Jesus' first miracle they left the best wine for the end of the of the of the feast and so it talks about the best wine of the of the faithful church the wife for the holy spirit and so it is the happiness of the the Holy Spirit over the church and it talks about and the roof of your mouth like the best of the wine so it is the resurrection I'm talking about through the Holy Spirit of the person that accepts the Lord and it begins to talk about and repeats what the Holy Spirit and so dying is for this life but talking about we're talking about something is to live for eternal life. So a good a good wine which represents life, what is the resurrection? It is new life, eternal life. Amen. Another contribution. It is those that those that sleep. It doesn't mean those that died with Christ. They are those that died with Christ, they are alive. They are they are going to be moved by the resurrection that the Holy Spirit is going to give to man, and then those people that will be transformed, they will not die, but they will be alive with Christ. Those that die, they talk about the experiences of eternal life. Uh, eternal life that is now governed oriented by the Holy Spirit but death does not have any other power on man 
So you're dead now? No, you're alive. Paul said, I do not live now for this life. I don't live this life, but but Christ lives in me, lives in me, and I live now by faith. So now let's see the text. The last question. Our last question. We can. We're just gonna go to the last question. We don't have time, so we're just gonna go to the suggestion of the message, which is chapter six in Songs of so Solomon, and verse ten. So. Who is she who looks forth as the morning, fair as the moon, clear as the sun, fair as the moon, that reflects the the sun, that reflects the revelation of G Jesus as the form of this? The form of this is the like the body of Christ, clear as the the sun, which is clear the the sun of justice, the the brightness of the sun, clear as the sun, which reflects. The church reflects the sun, and so awesome. It is victorious. It is victorious because it is because it is as an army with banners, and so the church is a victorious church that counts its victories, and so it is the appropriate message for tonight. And the Lord will give a great blessing. I don't know if there's another detail. the first Sunday that are here in this biblical school if they want to they want to complete so those brethren that are in this biblical school we will complete this we will complete this in the next the next bi biblical school starting in in the first Sunday of March so it will be something we will complement always the first Sunday of every month. And so we invite that the brethren may, may complete the finishing the service and just praying and giving a gift, praying with the children, giving an orientation, and not make it too long because the service is already very well detailed for the church. And so we greet the church with the peace of the Lord. And so... While the the children don't come down, you guys want to give another detail? Anybody want to say anything? While the children haven't came down yet. Anybody want to say something? Amen. Let's let's have a song.
irmãos? Te adoramos, Pai, bendizemos a Ti, gratos somos por tudo que o Senhor tem mostrado, Senhor, desta manhã, pela Tua graça que tem sido um bom dia. A graça que está para preparar o Lord. We, we thank you for your grace at this time. We praise you, Lord, because we are living this moment, Lord. This that is in the opening and closing of the eyes. We ask that you may take us in peace to our to our homes. We ask that you may be fulfilling your project and the service tonight. We ask, we ask that we may, we may be comprehending everything to your part. So that tonight there can be salvation here in this place, Lord. We we ask for your blessing in Jesus' name and Jesus' name, Amen. And good and eternal Father, and sweet and tender consolations of the Holy Spirit be with your people, God, now and forevermore, Amen. The service is is finished.